Hey guys, it's me, Camera Girl, and we are going to go to watch this. Listen to it. My life was a living hell for about a year while the trial was still fresh in people's minds. Eventually, the hatred subsided, but it never truly died. There was always someone who recognized me no matter how much I tried to change my appearance. Finding employment was nearly impossible. I drifted between part-time jobs and spent my free time drinking to ease the pain of becoming the national punching bag. It was around this point in time that I met my future wife. I still don't understand what she saw in me. I was an absolute wreck, not to mention the laughingstock of the entire country. But as soon as we met, she wanted to spend every waking moment with me. She wouldn't let me out of her sight, and got possessive if another woman so much as looked at me. I quickly came to depend on her for everything. It wasn't long before I couldn't live without her. I certainly wasn't in any state to take care of myself. I was like an adult-sized baby, helpless and vulnerable. Who knows? Maybe that's what she was attracted to. Maybe she just wanted to experience the sensation of owning a person. Maybe she wanted to keep a human pet. Maybe all she wanted was someone who she could emotionally depend on. Even after all these years, I don't understand why anyone would waste their time with a man like me. But none of that mattered. Despite all my flaws, she accepted me. And that's all I needed. We got married about six months after meeting each other. This one. Seven. My wife died while giving birth to our only child. I still don't know how I possibly found the strength to keep going after I lost her. I was completely dependent on her for absolutely everything. I could barely take care of myself, much less a baby. So guys, I have a theory that this is the story about Infochan's dad and about, so the last tape was basically about how Infochan's dad was thinking about committing suicide and then her mom came along and it, I'm pretty sure that since, I'm pretty sure Infochan's mother was a yandere too because she got very possessive over, over her dad, af even after someone looked at him. I guess... Anyways, let's continue. Somehow, I managed to make it through those years. But even after all this time, I'm still a deadbeat drunk who can't hold down a job. It was very difficult to love my own infant daughter, knowing that my wife was dead because of her. I'm Let me just say this. If your wife died in while giving birth, to your only infant child. Wouldn't that make you love your child more? Shouldn't it? And number one, it's not her, f the baby's fault that sh that your wife died, man. Because, you know, it was your you and your wife's choice to have the child. So, I'm thinking it's kind of your fault. Pretty sure I was a horrible father. She practically had to raise herself. I never tried to spend much time with her or learn about her. Now, this is what I call being a horrible fucking father. Kind of like my own. Tris. Even 
now, I don't think I know very much about her. I don't even know what kind of person she's turned into. She's turned into a girl who sell, who gets people to give her panty shots for favors, and then she sells them to give you and get you money. I don't even know what her everyday life is like. I know that she spends all of her time on her computer. She bought it herself. She seems to have a lot of money for someone her age. Being a father, you should probably know what your child is doing. That's the thing about being a parent. You should know what your child is doing in life. You should take interest. They are your child. You are responsible for them. Itch. I'm afraid to ask where it comes from. Sometimes she comes home with blood on her clothing. You could just show a little bit of interest in your daughter. Maybe that wouldn't would have made her, you know, a little less of a murderer. I can't tell if it's her blood or someone else's blood. I try to stay out of her business. That's when you don't. That's when you realize, hey, I shouldn't st mind my own business because you know what? My child came into my house with blood on her clothes. It's partially out of respect for her privacy. But it's mostly out of fear. You know you're a bad father when you're afraid of your own child. I think we have time for one more tape. And then I'll go get different tapes after. And then we'll look at the rest of the hairstyle, I guess. say this right now if you didn't you know spend time with your daughter you you had a purpose back when you when your daughter was born but no you decided to fucking let it be i hate you but like i know what to do with my life i'm going to deliver justice to that murderer i'm going to die trying this old antique was good for something after all. That was terrible. Well, you know what guys, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.